Welcome back everybody, and today I have behind me a mushroom house. And let's just go inside. We have a staircase up to the second level, a bed and a crafting table, as well as a window to view the outside. And that's all it is for the inside. And of course to get these tall mushrooms, I grew two mushrooms and then took these bottom two layers and used pistons to push them sideways, like that. And today, we're going to be filling this mushroom house with as much redstone as I possibly can to make it more functional than aesthetical. So now, I'm going to tinker with this house and see what I can come up with. Okay, I filled up the entire house, and as you can see, there's a flower inside. We'll get onto that soon. And there's nothing special with the door. Inside we have a crafting table, our bed, and our shulker box storage system. So we can press the button, and then push the shulker box over, and it gets cycled through. You can press this button for the stairs, and that's just a double piston extender. That leads to our super smelter, so let's go ahead and get some stone. And we can just throw our cobblestone into the top. And it gets smelted up to be put into this chest. As you can see. Right here, we have a flower farm. With some bone meal inside. And we can pull the lever. And we have an automatic flower farm. Just to look at the redstone, all we have are the stairs slash double piston extender. And right here is the magic button, so we can have the button up here and still have activate down here. That's just a sticky piston right there. And then right here, we have the circuit leading into the double piston extender. That's a regular piston on top and a sticky piston on bottom. Observe right there, and that leads into this block. And it's just a simple, compact double piston extender. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!